You're watching News Channel 18 at 6 with Gina Quattrochi and Jeff Smith. News from where you live. And I'm always grateful to uh, Purdue, a wonderful, wonderful environment providing me with this. A Purdue professor receives international recognition for his work in chemistry. Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrochi. And I'm Jeff Smith. Purdue is now the home of the black, gold, and another Nobel Prize winner. Alexandra Dairo joins us now with today's top story. Alexandra, did Dr. Aishi Nagishi seem surprised to have won the Nobel Prize for his work in chemistry? Gina, no, Dr. Nagishi did not seem surprised at all. He says his mentor and former Purdue Nobel Prize winner, Herbert Brown, had nominated him over eight years ago. Dr. Nagishi does say winning the Nobel Prize is an honor and a dream come true. Dr. Aichi Nagishi says winning the Nobel Prize for Organic Chemistry has changed his life. Since 5 o'clock, 5 a.m. this morning, I had the hardest time finding a little time for sipping a tea. <laughs> and I don't know how long it will continue. Nagishi, a Purdue chemistry professor, received the phone call from Stockholm at 5 a.m. He was now a Nobel Prize winner for breakthroughs in organic chemistry. His work in carbon molecule coupling has made a difference in areas of medicine. Nagishi says he feels the honor will be felt at the chemistry department at Purdue. I can begin sensing its enormous impact. And uh, at the same time, I, I'm, I've begun feeling my responsibility as well. Dr. Nagishi first came to Purdue University in the mid-1960s on a Fulbright scholarship. From there, he continued his work in organic chemistry, which eventually led him to the Nobel Prize. Nagishi had some words of advice for any student aspiring to the Nobel Prize. I never set uh, winning the Nobel Prize my, my goal, but I think I went beyond that. <laughs> that is that, uh, to, to explore, explore, exploration. This needs uh, or creativity and originality. But Nagishi did not let a Nobel Prize get between him and his students. He was still in his 12:30 chemistry lecture. Students say they enjoy Nagishi for his sense of humor. Student Bethany Mason says she's going to take advantage of her decorated professor. It's probably a once in a lifetime experience, I'm going to say. I don't think I will ever be taught by a Nobel Prize winner again. So, it makes me want to pay attention a little bit better in class actually. Dr. Nagishi says he plans to continue his work in organic chemistry at Purdue. Alexandra Dyro, News Channel 18.